Savitri, page 226. In scorn of the dwindling chances of the gods, they claim creation as their conquered fief and crown themselves the iron lords of time. Adepts of the illusion and the mask, the artificers of nature's fall and pain, have built their altars of triumphant night in the clay temple of terrestrial life. In the vacant precincts of the sacred fire, in front of the riados in the mystic rite, facing the dim velamen none can pierce, intones his solemn hymn the mitred priest, invoking their dreadful presence in his breast. Attributing to them the awful name, he chants the syllables of the magic text and summons the unseen communion's act, while ticks the incense and the muttered prayer, all the fierce bail with which the world is racked is mixed in the foaming chalice of man's heart and poured to them like sacramental wine. Assuming names divine, they guide and rule. Opponents of the highest they have come out of their world of soulless thought and power to serve by enmity the cosmic scheme. Night is their refuge and strategic base. Against the sword of flame, the luminous eye, bastoned they live in massive forts of gloom, calm and secure in sunless privacy. No wandering ray of heaven can enter there, armored, protected by their lethal mass. Yes, in a studio of creative death, the Jain sons of darkness sit and plan the drama of the earth, their tragic stage. All who would raise the fallen world must come under the dangerous arches of their power. For even the radiant children of the gods, to darken their privilege is and dreadful right. None can reach heaven who has not passed through hell.